Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Mentz and today I just want to talk about a few techniques that you can use in the field when you're trying to get a bird inside your frame quickly when you're using a telephoto lens. So whether you're using a 600mm or a 500mm or you have a 100-400 zoom or maybe you're just starting out and you have a 7200, it's going to be pretty difficult at first uh, when you're coming from like a standard focal length like a 50mm and getting used to that narrow field of view with a telephoto um, to see a bird, get it in your viewfinder quickly before it takes off. Um, it takes a lot of practice, but hopefully this video will help you out. And so let's get started. Before you even attempt to get the bird inside the viewfinder, the very first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the lens is focused at around the same distance as the bird is sitting. So with these telephoto lenses, even if you're a few feet off, the bird's going to be way too blurry in the viewfinder to recognize. Um, so what you want to do is focus on something that's around the same distance as the bird is. So whether that be the grass in the general area or a branch that it's sitting on or a tree in the general area or if you're trying to capture a bird in flight and it's uh, further away, you can just focus on the tree line or the horizon um, and that's going to get you locked in close enough to be able to see the bird for the next step which is to take a quick mental picture of what's in front of you. So if I was shooting from where the camera's positioned right now and I was pointing this way, I would remember that there's a group of thicker white trees to the left, and then there's a single uh, white brownish tree here, and there's like a bush of trees, and then there's the thinner white trees to the right. For example, if there's a bird sitting in this bush here, I know that if I'm panning over to the right and I hit these thinner white trees that I've gone too far. And same with if I pan over to the left here and I hit the single tree, I've gone too far that way. And you can take this mental picture and use it for uh, vertically as well. So I know that there's green trees in the background and in the foreground. Um, even though it looks like it's just a field, there's little variations that you can take note of. And so you're making this mental picture and it's all going to help once you're looking through that viewfinder and you have that narrow field of view looking for a five inch bird. Um, these little hints are going to help you out. So that was a pretty wide scene to kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about. But if you apply that technique to smaller perches like this, you're going to start to notice that each perch here is a little bit different from the next. And so if your bird's on this one over here and you see this perch in your viewfinder, you're going to have to head left. So if you're trying to photograph a bird in flight, the first thing you're going to want to do is, like I said, make sure that your lens is focused at around the same distance as the bird. And so if it's the bird is still a bit ways away, you can focus on the horizon or a tree that's a little bit closer or the ground that's around the same area. And that's going to give you a lot better chance of finding the bird in the viewfinder. And then once you get around the same focus distance, um, you're going to want to start panning with the bird before you even bring your eye to the viewfinder. And so if you see the bird coming this way, you're going to want to match speed with it with your lens. And so you, the bird's going to be sitting on top of the lens hood here uh, from your point of view. And so you're just matching the speed as you go. And so once you match the speed, you bring your eye to the viewfinder. And that's going to help you acquire the bird much faster. And if you're photographing a much more challenging bird, one that's flying much more radically than just an easy pan, you're going to want to constantly keep in check with it by going from the viewfinder and little peaks up. And you want to match that bird right on the top of your lens hood to keep in check with it. And some people with these super telephotos, they'll even put the lens hood uh, locking knob right on top. So they put that bird right where the locking knob is and they'll track it that way. Like any photo technique, you're gonna have to practice it. Uh, the nice thing about this though, is that you don't need birds around in order to practice. You can just be out on the trail and you'll notice things that are about bird size, like pine cones or leaves on a tree that are a different color, uh, planes flying overhead. Just decide to yourself, I'm gonna photograph that as quickly as possible. And then just keep practicing it and practicing it and hopefully you have some birds along the way so it's not all just pine cone images. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and stay tuned for more wildlife photography videos because I can't wait to make more. And if you have an idea for a future topic, please leave a comment below and hit that thumbs up button too. 
All right, here comes some geese. <laughs> Well, that worked out. The nice thing about this though, is that you don't need birds in order to practice it. It's a turkey. Next time you're on the trail, just keep an eye out on things that are about bird sized. I'm not even doing that for the video. There was a crane that just flew by. <laughs> this is a bad idea of filming when there's so many birds around me. I just, I need to stop. Even like this, what is this? There's this mouse that's just cruising down the road right now.